So in this video, we are going to learn how to generate content using Google Gemini in Google Sheets. So we are going to set up an automation in such a way that just by adding a new prompt in a Google spreadsheet, you can automatically send that prompt to Google Gemini. And using Gemini, we are going to generate the content for the same prompt. After generating the content, we are going to update the same content back in the same Google Sheets. In this way, you can have the power of Google Gemini AI tool directly in your Google spreadsheet. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this kind of automation for your Google spreadsheet, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Google spreadsheet. And in this sheet, we are adding some prompts in a new row over here. Now we want that whenever we add the prompt in a new row of this Google spreadsheet, we want to send that same prompt to Google Gemini and we want to get an answer from Google Gemini for that. And whatever answer Google Gemini is giving us, we want to add that same answer back in our Google Sheet in the same row in front of that. Now here guys, to do this, we have to connect our Google Spreadsheet with Gemini. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect to do so. So here you can see we are on Public Connect's dashboard. And to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. After coming to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. Let's say I want to name my workflow as Google Sheets to Gemini. And then select the folder of your Public Connect account in which you want to create this workflow and click on create. And as you click on create here, you can see the automation workflow is open over here. In this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we are going to connect our Google spreadsheet in which we are adding the prompt with Pabli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new row of prompt is added in the sheet, automatically that same newly added prompt will be received inside Public Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. After that, using this Public Connect automation, we are going to send that prompt to Google Gemini and using Google Gemini, we are going to get an answer for the same prompt. And after getting the answer, we are going to update that same answer or same content given by Google Gemini back in the Google sheet in the same row. So let's see how it is done. Starting from our trigger window in Choose App, search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets in Trigger Event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as New or Updated Spreadsheet Row. After selecting our trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. And using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Spreadsheet with Public Connect. Now you must be thinking how we are going to add this webhook URL in our Google Spreadsheet. For that, you just have to follow the instructions given below over here. Just copy the webhook URL from here, go to your Google spreadsheet and then just go to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-on. And after clicking on get add-ons, here you can see we have reached to Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in search app, we have to search for Pabli Connect webhooks. And here you can see Pabli Connect webhooks. This add-on is already installed in our Google spreadsheet. You just have to install this same add-on into your own Google Sheets account and after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. After refreshing our Google Spreadsheet, here you can see we will go to Extensions and this time Pabli Connect Webhooks. This add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. Now after clicking on Initial Setup, this box will appear in front of us and it is basically asking us three different things. First one is selected sheet, second one is webhook URL, and third one is trigger column. Now here in selected sheet, by default, it has selected sheet one. This is because we have only one sheet in this Google spreadsheet named as sheet one. So by default, it has selected that. Then after that, it is asking us for the webhook URL. And here, as you can guess, we have to enter the exact same webhook URL which Pabli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. After pasting the webhook URL, it is asking us for the trigger column. Now you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? So trigger column is basically the last data entry column of our Google Sheet in which we are entering some data. 
So here in the background, you can see column B is going to be my trigger column because it is the last column in which I will be entering any kind of data. After column B in column C, we are going to update the content given by Google Gemini using Pabli Connect automation. So we are not adding any content in column C. We are manually adding any content, any text or any data till column B. So column B is going to be my trigger column. So I'll just enter that and then just click on send test. Now, when we click on send test, here you can see it is showing us test data sent successfully. Means the data of the very first row after headers, the data of row number two is now sent to Pabli Connect. So let's check it. We will go to a Pabli Connect workflow. And yes, here in the trigger step response, you can see we have received some response over here. And in this response, you can see the same text, the same details of the row from Google spreadsheet. Here you can see the same date which we had in row number two in our Google sheet. And after that, you can see the same prompt as well. Search me top five automations for e-commerce business, the same prompt which we have entered in Google Sheet. Now, after doing this, what we will do, we will get back to our Google spreadsheet and we will click on this submit button. And as you click on submit, it is showing us that the setup is configured successfully. Now, after this, once again, we have to go to extensions, Pabli Connect webhook, and we have to basically select send on event this particular option this time. By selecting send on event, we are telling this Google Sheet, we are telling this add-on that whenever data in a new row is added till our trigger column, then immediately, instantly send that data to Pabli Connect. And here guys, the step one of setting up this automation is completed where we have connected our Google Spreadsheet with Pabli Connect in the trigger step and received the prompt from Google Sheet. Now after this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to send the same prompt to Google Gemini. For that, we will just scroll down and come to this action step. And here in Choose app, we are going to search for Google Generative AI. So we are going to select Google Generative AI as the action application and in action event, select Generate Content. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here, we have to connect our Google Generative AI account, basically our Google AI Studio account with Pabli Connect and to make this connection, we have to enter the API key over here. Now you must be thinking how you can access the Google AI Studio or get the API key to make the connection. So for that, you just have to follow the instructions given below over here. Just click on this hyperlink given in the help text and in the new tab you will see, you will reach to Google AI Studio. And after coming to Google AI Studio, here you can see all the models which you have. And by clicking on this get API key button, you can start generating your API key. So just click on it, click on create API key. And then for creating an API key, we have to give an access or we have to select an existing Google Cloud project. So here in this drop down, as I click here, you can see a list of all the projects which I have in my Google Cloud console. So here from this drop down, you can select a project. If you don't have a project, you can just create a new project in Google Cloud Console and start creating the API key from here. And after selecting this option, click on Create API Key in Existing Project. Now, as we click on Create, you will see an API key is generated over here using Google AI Studio. After generating this API key, just copy the API key from here and paste it over here. And as we paste the API key, click on Save. And after clicking on save, we will see our Google Generative AI account or our Google AI Studio will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the text. That what is the text? What is the prompt we want to give to Google Gemini or Google AI Studio to generate the content? So we have entered our prompt in our Google spreadsheet and we have received this prompt from our Google sheet inside Pabli Connect in the trigger step. So from this trigger step response is we are going to map this response of prompt to this Google generative AI action step. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Google Sheets of a new row of a new prompt being added. Out of all of these responses, select the response of prompt and it will be mapped over here. In this way, whatever prompt we are going to enter in our Google Sheet, the same prompt will be received inside Pabli Connect and using that same prompt, we are going to generate the content in Google Gemini. After mapping the text, after mapping the prompt, the next thing it asks us is the models. 
And here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the AI content generation model that you can use inside Pavli Connect. Now from this drop down, out of all of these models, I want to use Gemini Pro as the model. So I'm selecting Gemini Pro over here. After selecting Gemini Pro, in method in this drop down, you can see two options, generate content and count tokens. So because we want to generate content, I'm going to select that. If you just want to count the API tokens from your Gemini account, you can select this method as well. Right now, we are going to select generate content. And after selecting all the option and mapping the prompt, just click on save and send test request. And after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response. And in this response, you can see a response, a content or a, some answer given by Google Gemini. And here you can see in front of this content parts text, you can see an answer or the content for the same prompt which we have given to Google Gemini. So we have given the prompt as suggest me top five automations for e-commerce business. And here you can see the answer. So we have top five automations that is abandoned cart recovery, product recommendation, inventory management, automated customer support and order processing and fulfillment. And we have description for these automations as well. This means the second step of setting up this automation is also completed and it's working perfectly fine. Using the same prompt which we have entered in our Google spreadsheet, we have generated some content using Google Gemini. Now after generating this content, what we want to do, we want to add this content given by Google Gemini back in our Google sheet in the same row in front of this prompt. For that, we will just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose app, search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as update cell value. So we'll just scroll down and we are going to select update cell value because we just want to update the value of a cell in this Google spreadsheet. After selecting this, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Google spreadsheet account, our Google Sheets account with Pavli Connect in the action step. Previously, we made the connection in the trigger step using the Pebbook, but we have to connect it in the action step as well. And to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button. Then just select your Google Sheets account. After selecting this account, just scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Sheets account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have in our Google Sheets account. Out of all of these spreadsheets, the spreadsheet in which we want to update the cell value, we have to select that. So we want to update the cell value in the same spreadsheet in which we have added the prompt. And the name of that spreadsheet was AI Content Generation. So from this drop down, we are going to select the same spreadsheet. After selecting the spreadsheet, it is asking us to select the sheet. So in this Google spreadsheet, as you know, we have only one sheet right now that is called sheet one. And here in this drop down, you can see only one option of sheet one. So we are going to select that. Then it is asking us for the range that in this complete Google sheet, in which particular cell we want to update the value or update the content. Now here, what I want to do, I want to update the content in column C, but the number of row, the row name is going to keep on changing. Like right now for this particular prompt, I want to update the column in this cell. The range of this cell is C2. But the next time when I'm going to enter the prompt in a new row, the cell range will change. It will become C3, C4, C5, C6, C7. This means the column name is going to be the same. The column name is going to be C, but the row number will be keep on changing. So what we are going to do in the range, we are going to enter the same column manually. So we have entered the column C, but the row number will be keep on changing. And in the trigger responses, when we have received the data of a new row from Google Sheets, we have received the response of row index over here. So from trigger responses, we are going to map this response of row index. So we had the response that in which particular row number the prompt is added. And in the same row, we want to add the content as well. So from this trigger response, let's map the response of row index and we are going to map it in this Google Sheet action step. So in range, we are going to manually enter the column name, but the column number will be mapped from the drop down. Just click here and from the drop down from Google Sheet responses, select and map the response of row index over here. 
In this way, in whatever row we are going to add the prompt, in column C of the same row, the AI generate content from Google Gemini will be automatically added. After mapping the range, it is asking us for the value. That what is the value? What is the text or content we want to update? So we want to update the text content given by Google Gemini over here. So using this Google generative AI responses from these responses, we are going to map this response of text given over here. So to map this data, we will just come to this Google Sheets action step, click on this value, and from the drop down from Google generative AI responses, select the response of text and we are going to map it. After mapping the value, entering the range and selecting the spreadsheet, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the text content which we have mapped over here, basically the answer, the text content which Google Gemini has given us in the second step in Google Generative AI action step, the same content is now added in this particular cell of this Google spreadsheet. So let's check it. We will go to our Google spreadsheet and yes, here you can see the same content is now added over here as well. And in this content, what you can do, you can see the content generated by Google Gemini for the same prompt which we have added. So we had the prompt that is suggest me top five automations for e-commerce business. Using Google Gemini, we have generated the content in the Google sheet. You can see the same content in front of that. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pabli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, just by entering a new row of prompt in our Google Sheet, you can automatically generate the content using Google Gemini and you can add that same content back in your Google Sheets as well. Now, after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. In my Google Spreadsheet, I'm going to enter another prompt over here. Let's say I want to enter the prompt as write an essay on penguins. So this is the prompt which I'm giving in my Google spreadsheet. So just now we have added the prompt and we will see as we add the prompt automatically within few seconds for the same prompt, we are going to generate the content using Google Gemini and the generate content will automatically add it in our Google spreadsheet in the same row as well. And yes, here you can see within few seconds automatically the same content generated for the prompt from Google Gemini is added. And we have an essay for the same. We have an essay on penguins over here. In the vast and icy realms of the southern hemisphere, where the wind whispers tales of reliance and adaptation, resides a remarkable group of creatures, the penguins. So you can see and we have an essay on penguins over here. The same prompt which we have added in Google spreadsheet. This means we have tested this automation workflow in real time and it is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this exact same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here. Or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.